Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, has blessed this gathering indeed we have in our midst um, our teacher Sheikh Yahya um, and we like all of you I came here to benefit from him uh, inshallah so we'll be hearing from him shortly inshallah just to let you know Ustad Yahya from a very young age after he became Muslim uh, he went and sought out uh, the lovers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's met and studied with Shaykh Murat al-Hajj who is a living wali of God he's a saint of God these people are real this is a pre-modern man who's over a hundred years old who's living today Shaykh Yahya has spent time with him learned from his hand I went to Mauritania just to catch a gaze from this man Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I was able to catch one glance from him. These people are uh, amazing. Uh, we need to seek them out. Um, after which, Ustad Yahya traveled in different places, to the Levant, uh, went to Yemen. In Yemen, there's probably the highest concentration of Ahlul Bayt in the world. These are spiritual uh, and physical descendants of the Holy Prophet Muhammad So Sheikh Yahya's house is literally three houses down from Sayyidi Habib Umar bin Hafiz. The house across the street from that house belongs to Habib Ali Jifri. In between them there's Dara Mustafa. This is Ustad Yahya's neighborhood. He's, these people are descendants of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The one about whom the Prophet ﷺ said, Husaynun minni wa ana min Hussein. Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. And Hussein is the son of Imam Ali, Karamallahu Wajha, the one about whom the Prophet ﷺ said, Man kuntu mawla, fahada Ali yun mawla. If I am your master, this Ali is your master. And Imam Ali is the husband of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, the one about whom the Prophet ﷺ said, Fatima to bid'atu minni, for man aghdabaha faqad aghdabani, wa man aghdabani faqad aghdab Allah, aw kama qala alayhi salatu wa salam, that Fatima is a piece of my flesh. Whoever makes her angry has made me angry. Whoever makes me angry has made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry. And Fatima, of course, is the daughter of the one about whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, Directly, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We did not send thee as, except as a mercy to all the worlds. This is the legacy we have with us tonight. Uh, so we have to appreciate that. We really have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. Because this is what the world needs right now. The world needs rahma. I was at a junior college a few months ago and I gave this talk, kind of academic talk, and uh, the lecture was entitled uh, The True Islam Revealed, not my choice of title. Um, but that's what they wanted to call it, no pressure. Uh, so after about an hour and a half or so of going back and forth with the audience, I noticed there was this man in the audience who seemed to have a visceral reaction to almost everything I was saying. Like he was bothered by it, and at one point, actually got up and like he was going to storm out and then I don't know somebody came and talked to him he came and he sat back down I'm thinking to myself what exactly am I saying here right what am I saying wrong I mean <laughs> I don't know what's going on it seemed like most people were enjoying the talk anyway so then after the talk we had kind of sat up on the stage we shared some halal KFC um, and this brother was there he's an honest from God and uh, we're talking just kind of casually, and somebody asked me a question about the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I said, yeah, you should never despair of the mercy of Allah. So I've been passing. I look over to this man, and he is in tears. He's in tears. And he said, you know, uh, I was in the Marines, and uh, I just have to tell you that I've killed many of your brothers. I've killed many of your brothers. 
And he said, most of what you said tonight I don't agree with. But when you quoted, when you said that last thing, just in casual conversation, La taqnatu mir rahmatillah. Do not, do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, I lost it and I started to weep. And at that point, I froze. But alhamdulillah, there was a young brother in the MSA, 19, 20 years old, who said to him, you're our brother. He said, I've killed many of your brothers. He said, you're our brother, right? And that's the attitude we need to have with people. This is the attitude of the best of creation, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This type of mercy that is uh, unfathomable. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the verse, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً We did not send you except. So this is an ifbat بعد nafi. We have an affirmation after a negation. This is very strong emphasis in the Arabic language. We did not send you except as a rahmatan. And this is indefinite. It's indefinite. Meaning that the mercy of the Prophet sallallahu is beyond our comprehension. It's beyond our comprehension. We cannot even fathom his mercy. He's the greatest manifestation of Allah's mercy. 